35 News starts now with breaking news. Well, a man was found dead inside a car in Orange County. But investigators believe that that victim could be connected to a separate shooting. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffmonte joined us live from Eatonville, and she's walking us through what happened. Stephanie. That is exactly right. So we are on Samuel Street in Eatonville, and this is where Orange County deputies say the shooting happened last night. There was a resident here who caught it on her ring camera. She didn't feel comfortable sharing that on TV, but I did watch it. It shows these cars racing down the street over here, and you could just hear the gunshots ringing out in this area. Now, this happened around 5:10 last night when Orange County deputies got to the scene. There were no victims or no witnesses, but they say they did find bullet cases things on the ground. People who live in this area say it's pretty scary because this is normally a quiet neighborhood. We heard the rapid fire, pow, 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 pow. Um, it was like a movie, like being in a wild, wild west, just cars chasing each other and a shootout. Didn't see any people, just heard the, heard the noise. So then later in the evening, Orlando police responded to what they thought was a car crash at Princeton Street and Westmoreland Road, which is about a 15 minute drive from where we are right now. Officers found a man in the car who had been shot and deputies believe it is the person who was shot here in Eatonville. And that man is 30 year old Daryl Lee Merricks Jr. And he died at the hospital. We are still working to learn if the suspects were taken into custody or if investigators are still looking for them. We've been at the scene here for a couple hours and we've seen uh, investigators going from house to house asking people if they have video and looking for any other information that they can find. Reporting live in Eatonville, Stephanie Buffmonte, Fox 35 News.